Leave it. Yes, good boy. Good job. Teaching your dog to ignore distractions is a pretty crucial part of your dog training. And in today's video, Instructor Steve is going to show you a step-by-step -step process to teach you how to train your dog to ignore distractions on a single command. I'm Ken Steep. I'm Steve Walsh. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. Now today we're gonna to spend a little time teaching uh, my seven month old puppy Faunal here how to ignore distractions. Now we're actually gonna make sure that we teach our dogs how to uh, leave things alone or ignore distractions on a command because it's very handy if your dog's out in the real world. They're wandering off on the other side of the field and they get interested in a deer running off that you can say leave it or whatever that command is gonna be and have them respond right away. But like anything else, I need to start close to help my dog be successful before I ever add any of that kind of distance or reliability questions. Now, because we're starting with the basics, I'm really gonna make sure I help my dog be successful by controlling the environment and also controlling the distraction. If I can take away, hi buddy, I know that's my toy. If I can take away as many of those things to help him understand how to be successful, his understanding of the command will improve greatly, okay? Now you can see he is a puppy. He's a busy guy and that's okay. I'm gonna help him. Now what I'm gonna use is two things. One, I'm gonna use a distraction that I can control. And in this particular case, it's a Tupperware container with some dog food in it. And I've just drilled a few holes in it there so he can smell it, but he can't actually get to the food. You could use whatever your dog is interested in. It might be those stinky socks that are lying around the house. It might be those shoes, or it might be, again, a piece of food or something that they, do, they really, really take a liking to. Now, not only am I gonna control the distraction that's gonna attract my dog, I'm also gonna try and do everything I can to make it easier for my dog and take this to a quiet place. Maybe a hallway or the basement where nobody's around. Uh, find a quiet room that uh, you have a little bit of space to work. Okay, now whatever space you have, make sure that um, there's not noises going on or other things because we really want to allow our dogs to get focused on this thing first so that we can show them how to ignore it. Now here's how I'm going to set this up. I'm going to take this item that I know my dog's going to be pretty interested in and I'm just simply going to put it on the floor. Okay, now I don't care if he sniffs it right now because I do want his interest. Um, if your dog is interested in other things, switch it out for something that's a little bit more interesting, interesting to him. Now I'm going to place it on the floor and I'm simply going to move a little bit further away. Hey bud, come on back here. Good. I'm going to encourage him to move with me. Now here's what needs to happen. I need to have him take notice of what that distraction is and then I need to give my command. Now the command that I'm going to use is leave it. And leave it means look away from what you're looking at and check back in with me. It doesn't mean run away. It doesn't mean anything else. It simply means look back at me. Okay. Now I am also going to use a little food so that he understands how to respond to that command. Now, two things are really important when I do this. Um, I am not gonna go, to, <laughs> I'm not gonna try and go as close as I can to that distraction because to me, it's not about going as close as I can to that distraction. It's about teaching the dog to respond to the command in spite of that distraction. And that's a very different approach. I'm gonna work further away from this thing. So I'm gonna get a little food in this situation. I'm gonna put it in my left hand, okay? I'm gonna tell him, okay, and I'm gonna take a couple of steps toward that container. The moment his eyes look in the direction of that container, I'm going to say leave it, and then I'm going to immediately going to put the food on his nose, and I'm going to turn him 180 degrees away and praise and reward him as we do. Okay, so real time it looks like this. We're just going to move a little bit, okay? He knows I have a little bit of food in my hand, but it's not on his nose. Okay. Okay, bud. Good boy. Now, he also knows I have a little food in my hand, so I'm going to make this a little harder. Good. Leave it. Yes, good boy, hooray, excellent, good job. Excellent job, buddy, good job. So I said leave it, I immediately put the food to his nose and use the food to turn him away. Now it happened pretty quick with this dog, he moves quite quickly. Um, but the one thing I wanna highlight, and I'm gonna do it again, is I'm not pulling on his leash at this point. I'm saying, here's the command and here's how to respond to it. So I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay, bud, good. So I'm keeping the food away from his nose, leave it. Yes, good boy, excellent, very good. Now I'm gonna try it again. And if all is going well, I'm gonna try and move a little closer to the distraction, okay? Now, if I move closer and I say leave it and my dog is so distracted by that thing that the food doesn't help them, you're just gonna be patient. You're gonna put that food in their nose and just create a little bit of space from the distraction, but resist the urge to pull on them and walk away with a tight leash, okay? Again, we're still in the teaching phase. We'll test this in a minute. With me, bud. Leave it. Yes, good boy, excellent. Now, I'll try and go a little closer. Oh, he says, I know I've got food there, so leave it. 
Yes, good boy, excellent job, good job. Now you notice that time he actually went, I'm not sure if I wanna look away from you, but the moment he did, I didn't wait. His eyes left me, I said leave it, then the food went to his nose. Now even though I had to help him a little bit more that time, I still said yes the moment I got him turned, and I still moved away with some excitement. It's important that you help your dogs understand what the job is at that point, which is to turn away and move with you. Now, I've spent a little time teaching Fino how to uh, leave this particular distraction. And the reason I say this particular distraction is every distraction is gonna be a little bit different. Now, because I spent a little time teaching him how to respond with this particular distraction, I feel confident that I can test him a little bit. Now, up until now, he's looked at the distraction. I've said, leave it. I've used that food to lure him away. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna move further back again. Distance is my friend when it comes to distractions. The further away I am, the more chance of him being successful. successful. But I'm simply gonna say, leave it, and I'm gonna see what happens. Now, if I say, leave it, and he turns and looks at me, I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna move away, and I'm gonna really throw a party and let him know he is absolutely doing the correct thing. Okay? Now, here's the thing. If he doesn't, no big deal. I'm going to repeat leave at one time. My left hand's going to go on the leash, and I'm just going to add some firm pulses on that leash until he actually does check back in with me and moves away. I'm still going to say yes and praise him. Okay? But the next, document, the next time I try this out, I might move further away again to see if I can help him be successful. Okay? Now, if I say leave it and he does, by all means, I'm still going to throw a party. I'm going to praise him and yes and reward. But again, if he doesn't, I'll repeat, leave it one more time, one more time only. My left hand will add some pulses on the leash at his head level as I move him away. Here's my little rule of thumb though. If I have a, if I'm training my dog with something and they make two mistakes. So let's say I test him on leave it and he doesn't get it the first time and I test him again, he doesn't get it the second time. He doesn't understand it in this situation. I need to go back and teach him. So I'll simply go back. I'll get some food in my hand and go and rehearse those initial steps that we talk about of saying leave it and then luring him away. So I'm gonna do a little test. He's done this a couple times. Okay, buddy. I don't have any food in my hand this time, okay? The moment his little eyes leave me, I'm gonna say leave it and we'll see what happens, okay? Hey bud, are you ready? Are you set? Okay. Leave it. Yes, good boy, hooray, excellent job, good. So you notice his eyes left me, they went to that distraction, I said leave it, his little head spun around and I made a really, really big deal out about it. Uh, about it. Now you'll also notice I'm doing this far away, I'm not walking up there to set him up to uh, make a mistake, I'm back here helping him to be correct. Now as he's more successful, I will move a little closer. Okay, all right, so no food in my hand again. Leave it, yay, good boy, excellent, I can yes and reward that. Okay. Now, I'm going to see if I can have him make a mistake. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to force him to make a mistake, though. I will tell you that, okay? I'm going to see if he can make a mistake and see if he needs a little help. So I'm going to go really close to this thing. Good boy. Good. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> yes, good boy. I did catch you that time. Good job. So I said leave it. He looked at me but looked right back at that container. No big deal. I repeated that leave it, added those pulses on the leash, and I still praised him, I still let him know he did a great job, but I didn't necessarily feed that one. I'm gonna save my really good rewards for the things he absolutely gets right. But like anything else, at no time I'm not mad at him. He's learning, it's my job to help him understand. Now that I've had to help him, I'm gonna try it again, but I'm gonna try to get him a little bit more distance to sort of build on his success. Okay, buddy, come on, are you ready? Are you set? Leave it. Yay, good boy, excellent, good job. So with a little bit of extra distance and a little bit of help, he responds beautifully to that leave and I can make a big deal of that. Now again, once I've practiced this with several different distractions in several locations and started to add some things, uh, I would take the dog outside and uh, just let the world distract them. Oftentimes there are so many things going on outside in the world that we can just let the dog look away. And it really helps me practice my timing of saying leave it and then using that food to lure away. The same things that we practiced right here in this room, I would practice out in the real world. Now, as the dog gets more successful, you can also start to add more distractions. So let's say there are dogs running around and playing. Now I wouldn't go right up to those dogs and expect my dog to leave it, but maybe I can find a spot 50 or 100 feet away across the field. Let my dog look at those dogs, say leave it and turn them away. The more time I spend building that foundation on when you hear this command, here's what to do, 
the more reliable will be. The more reliable it will be uh, further down the road. Now, of course, leave it is a fantastic command for things that are out in the world, like dogs and squirrels and bikes and other things. But leave it can also be really important and, in fact, a life-saving command if there are things around that you don't really want your dog to have. Um, there are lots of things on the street that I want to make sure my dogs don't take into their mouths. So if my dog has a strong leave it command, it can really, really be beneficial. So spend some time getting your foundation, and then go out there and apply it in their lives. So another important command to teach your dog is to respond to their name. And if you're interested in seeing that video, click that card right there. I want to thank instructor Steve for joining us today. And if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every single week to help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. On that note, I'm Ken. I'm Steve. And this is Final. Happy training. <laughs>